Hello everybody, welcome to the final quarterfinal of Season 50. Chalice, we've got Cyber Knight with his Chaos versus Chunter with his Skaven. In the booth with me is Fymir. Hello! Hello everybody, and here we have a game where the underdog are the Chaos. Doesn't happen uh, much of them, but the uh, Chanter has a very powerful team, and Cyber Knight uh, lost more than a few players in the last few games. So that's how I think Silver Knight will need to play his very best to even have a chance. Yeah, it's but brutal. we trust in him in giving us a good show because this game is dedicated to our viewers in Equatorial yeah. Guinea, which is a country that already appeared here, yeah. but this is random. So there you go, Equatorial Guinea. They didn't pay me, they didn't pay me. I know they're famous, uh, the government there is famous for its bribes, but no, they didn't pay me. <laughs> and just as remembrance, the national flower is the Ber Bernonia Yalonensis. I clearly pronounced that wrong. <laughs> and the national dish is the Shukotash. Ah. Oh wow, he's, he's going for the pile. Risky, because he's going to get fouled. So like, he has to protect him. Piling on. No, no, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have piled there. Like I know, I know you want to, but like chunter has got fifteen players, right? So like you're not making a dent on total player numbers. So I would have just not followed and uh, screened him, you know, and kept him safe to try and pick off a good player next turn. Um, because now you've really got to pile in to defend him. Um, so yeah, you have to blitz this wrestler, and you, like, see, so you could have you could have blitzed a defenseless guy instead, and uh, and then kept him protected easily. But instead, he's had to blitz a wrestler. And he's, he's obviously got to put in players to protect him here, otherwise he's going to get uh, he's going to get him fouled. But yeah, at the start of the tournament, Cyber's team was unbelievable, and he's had a tackle, a guard tackle die, block guard tackle die, and he's he's missing a tackle pommer and uh, a tackle warrior, no, a tackle beastman, no, a warrior, yeah, a warrior, just a warrior and a tackle pommer. So like, yeah, he's, the warrior's huge. And then obviously down a warrior is huge and down another tackle bomb is huge. And he lost a tackle beast man earlier in the campaign. But he does have I mean the strength for Edge 4 Bludge is like a great ball carrier, right? And that is gonna be that is gonna be a struggle for Chunter to get the ball off. In fact, like Chunter has really no way of sacking the ball. Um he's got a, he's got this rackler. Um so yeah, there's no real way like he doesn't for once Chunter doesn't have like the kind of crazy, you know, gut runner sack players, right? But what he does have is a fifteen man team with three dirty players. Two or three dirty players, and uh, and loads of players, and, and a claw pommer of his own, and claw mighty, and cyber has uh, a bribe with his extra, with his inducement. He hasn't didn't foul a rookie lineman with it surprisingly. And he's got a strength for tackle mighty, hasn't he? So this is probably the one player that Chun has got to get the ball up with. Not great though. We'll see no normal chunter players, will we? Like, you know, you can be rest assured there'll be no dodging for a two-deal pill. Mm, not sure about that. <laughs> but in theory, no. <laughs> I mean, uh, he's got the runners that have tackle or a strip ball, so... Or wrestle, and even if they had strip, he's wrestle. got sure hands, so... So, yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's going to be, a, in theory, a traditional screen defense. And I think Chanter is going to hit the skillless uh, Beastman at the left. Yep. Sure looks like it. Chanter doesn't have a natty, but Cyber only has two stand firms. So um, it, I think it is. I think his warrior who's missing had stand firm. So he's li he's literally missing the third stand firm. But obviously, you know, if he had if he had an extra stand firm, these guys would have been brutally targeted by Chanter. So. He might not have kept them for the one turn anyway. As we have an instant arm break for Chunter. Will he uh, pile on? No. No, it doesn't make no, sense no. with a with a dirty player and a and a bribe. At least ITV switched their odds up during the match. <laughs> Hey, hey, Victor, my boy, if, if I had as much money as ITV, I, w I wouldn't run any ads on my stream, but unfortunately. <laughs> I don't think ITV has that much money, but they can only afford the cheapest uh, stream. 
<laughs> they, they st they've got a lot more than a dude in but Darlington, though, so, you know. You, you, That's I think, true. I think you can cut me some slack. <laughs> Also, Kermatronic, uh, Chanter is uh, infamous for bringing uh, teams without natties to Charlie's. Yeah, he wouldn't when he took a natty, but he's yeah, he doesn't he doesn't often have them. Doesn't always have them. He doesn't have them as much as he should, probably because he fields them on like offense and then has them killed and stuff, you know. So, for example, here uh, in his uh, latest team, the game we were watching before the, this one started. He has a movement in gutter runner and the uh, second skill, uh, two heads. Mm -hmm. Which, yes, can be useful in the long term, but still not a natty. Not a natty. <laughs> there you go, get a removal. Good, now I think Cyber Knight uh, game plan should try to target the weakest rats, so... It's a dirty Chanter player, isn't it? That's nice. Yes. There's, there's has... dirty players, so you can actually pile on now. Maybe. Yeah, and now Chanter will be, you know, every rat that disappears will force him to expose the good players. Yep. Yep, four and a half good players for, uh, <laughs> for Chanter. Because even a rookie gut is all right, isn't it? Um, so yeah, four and a half good players for Chumley. Yeah, because I mean, uh, Seven Knight only has two tacklers, so... Mm. The Darling of Darlington, you know what, you're not the only person who says who said that a rook by. <laughs> yes, this is the second match dedicated to Equatorial Guinea. Yeah. Hey, Johnny Five... Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <clears throat> oh, born to be guinea pigs, right? That was that was the hilarious punchline. Good, good. Making it even better. Yeah, only 12 players. This is the thing, look, no numbers. Yeah, only 12 players um, for cyber so like you know 15 for chunter so the long game definitely like in the attrition game like you know despite the fact that cyber has a few mighty blow um the 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 attrition definitely favors chunter he's got more dirty players more players and he's got a club on of his own as well so yeah this is i mean that that's a tough spot to be in right for the chaos when when the attrition favors the rats that's really that's really tough i mean they do like Field position favours the Chaos, right? Because they've got more strength and they've got a strength of ball carrier. So, like, just over the course of the drive, they're still going to be kind of secure. But, oh, here we go. Frenzy Trap. Classic. Classic dickhead uh, strength three frenzy play here. Yep. Oh, no, doesn't get the power. I thought he was defenseless. I thought he was just... Oh, no, he does. He's got Juggernaut. There you go. Fantastic. Frenzy trap into a removal. Brilliant. Absolutely and brilliant. And Apo, you said in the dirty player. Absolutely brilliant play. There you go. Just like the previous match. Frenzy on your strength three. Not punished, rewarded. Brilliant. Love to see it. And exactly the same as the last game. Doesn't affect how people use it. They don't, you know, they don't They don't put in a play to stop the frenzy trap or anything. They just go two into one. I don't care. Make a Kaz. Brilliant. <laughs> Why even try to play properly? You know, like there's there's a good argument. Like this is the argument against it, isn't it? This is two quarterfinals. In the Enchanter's first turn, when he targeted the player on the left, I was thinking he should have gone with a strength four to the defenseless uh, Bisman on the right and then move back the strength four because he wasn't going to uh, to pile on anyway. So, you know, you don't need to invest extra players into assist, just use the strength four, hit and run back. <laughs> yeah. But, what do I know? <laughs> yeah, it was just for arts. It was just for arts benefit, Lee. That was the thing, right? Art was the one going crazy about it last game. I normally don't bother mentioning it because, well, it happens so frequently that, uh, you know, in this stupid children's game that we play... Um, the the thing that matters the most is how the dice go, not how the player goes. 
And, and you know, because of that, maybe it's correct to do this kind of thing, you know? Maybe, maybe this is the correct way of doing it. He did and expose his claw pom though, which seemed mental, by the way. To get claw pom back, and... Yeah. Armor break. And he has... Oh! No oh, need to pilot. look a dog. Look a dog, Chunter. And now uh, there is tackle in the gutter runner. There are uh, three hits around. Well, he's wrestling, isn't he? So do you, do you make this three dice with a ball carrier? Or do you go blockless hit is the question. I think three dice with the ball carrier uh, is all right. If you don't plan to move the ball carrier, I think he's not planning to move the ball carrier. Yeah. He couldn't have piled Nolly. He, he rolled a straight Kaz, so he couldn't pile. <laughs> Was not allowed to pile. <laughs> the game would not allow him to pile. Should he have the option to pile? Yes. Um, because why would you know? It, you should be able to reroll a Kaz, even though even though it's unintuitive. You know why would you want to reroll a Kaz? You should have the option to. Uh... I mean, you can uh, use pile on with a KO. Oh, Cyber. Should Cyber have piled on the KO? Maybe. Did he have plus one on the injury? Yeah, he did, didn't he? Yes. So, maybe. The problem is he didn't have the, he didn't have the Dirty Player anymore, right? Because the Dirty Player had just been cast. I think if he has the Dirty Player, then he does pile. Because if he stuns him, he can foul him, right? But I think with losing the Dirty Player is why he didn't pile. I think he piles if he if he's got the if he's got the DP to follow up with. Well, now as long as Cyber can keep these three controlled and this guy who's stun controlled, there's really only good targets now for uh, for Chunter. So, you know, despite the fact that Cyber's apple's gone, um, I would have probably gone for a second apple rather than a bribe. But hey, that's the way I like to play. I don't want to get banged out by uh, you know high rolling. Rats, I think, is a lot more dangerous than using the bribe to try and high roll them. But, you know, that's just my opinion. Who's to say if it's right or wrong? Um, we'll, we'll never know because we'll never get a blue ball stock fish. In theory, we will see more fouls, which is always, you know, one of the highlights. Yeah, and the, the bribe's a good deterrent, right? The bribe is a good deterrent to the piling on. And then if you deter the piling on, then maybe that gets you, uh, maybe deter the use amount of cuts. Yeah, that that can save cars. So, you know, it's 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 not clear cut, uh, which is better to be fair. <laughs> Imagine thinking you can deter. It. Well, he's left an instant uphill here, which I'm not sure I'd have left an instant uphill against Chunter because it's with tackle. And it's likely the only go, chance he'll get. For the, uh, he's going for the... In fact, it could have been with Rackle. He could have literally just cancelled one assist. And it's only strength six. You could have uphilled him with Rackle. <sighs> like, honestly, you're not getting a better chance than that. Probably, right? At sacking the ball. Yeah. Like, he's lost his claw pommer for the half. This isn't looking great for Chunter. So you could have, he could have just literally tagged there. Come in for the uphill. And if it works... He's got the edge five in the gutter and he just scores and wins. <sighs> like that, I'm, su I'm surprised he didn't take it. Literally surprised he didn't take it. No, yeah, exactly, exactly, man, kids. That's, what, that's, that's exactly what I said, though, at the start. I said that is, you know, PC said, is it going to change how he plays with him? And I said, no, like, because you, you, can't, you can't afford to, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like that's just that's just it. I mean, in your defence, you probably shouldn't have fucking taken frenzy on him, right? <laughs> 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 but that's it. Once people do it, that that's how they play because that's kind of how you have to play because it's costing you too much to to stop it, which is why it's shit, right? In my opinion. But it's pretty good if you if you if you frenzy trap off in, into into cars, then it's pretty great, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> two into one into Kaz is, is much better than two into pushes. <laughs> and you know, the, the odds are in your favour, right? Even with a 1D, the odds are still in your favour. So, like, I don't think it's necessarily correct that, like, you know, people like Elliot and and Artemis and myself shy away from the variants. Like, it makes sense to an extent, right? Especially if you think you're ahead of people. But 
are you that much ahead, are you ever that much ahead of even the bad players? Probably not, right? Like you know, even even PCs. A dwarf team, I was still about like 30% to win, right? Now, maybe I'd be less if I was a worse coach, but still, I still think I was about 30% to win that game. And and so, you know, so if you're not trying to get lucky, are you doing yourself a disservice in that regard? It's interesting. And the gutter gets hit. Mm. And there's going to be an instant pylon. I guess that's the only reason you follow, yeah. You can get a, you can get tense in here, can't you? Potentially. But the problem is the strength oh, four guy. So absolutely failure. The disgusting pylon. Yeah, this, the tentacles in here looks lovely, right? But how do you deal with this strength four guy? Is the problem. I guess you well, can you... stick a rookie on him, <clears throat> and then put guard over here. But then how do you protect the ball? So this is a very tricky turn now for a cyber knight. I mean, this was the obvious. Four, I can stick him in here. Move. But how do you? How, oh yes, all oh, the strength five. Okay, yeah, the strength five on him. Yeah, and then guards on the others. Nice pile on, mate. Where'd you get it? The shit pile on shop. I think maybe don't push him there. I right? push him here or something, so you can get more in, on the uh, on the strength four. That's what I would have liked to have seen. But he can just dodge and hit now. That's a big problem. The, the dodge and hit your uh, hit your to stand firm. That's probably what's going to happen, right? So how do you stop that? And the answer is you pretty much don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To be fair, having having a friend, there is something to be said for just having a frenzy. And to be fair, edge four. Strength 3 Frenzy is nowhere near as bad as Agility 3 Strength 4 Frenzy. Ooh. Boy, howdy. Is he tempting Chun? Is he tempting Chun here into the 1D pal? This seems needlessly lax. This guy could have come around here, right? He was here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Why, why do you not do that? Come on, Cyber. You're just tempting Chun in the 1D here. If Chun makes this 1D, like it's a 1 in 3 that he pals. Then you just then you can hit the ball, can't you? I guess you've got to uphill him first, right? But still, don't 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 tempt Chunter into uphills and stuff. In fact, you could start with this uphill, then you can dodge him out, and then you've got a two D, and then you've got a one D on the ball. Oh, yeah, that's ball what he's going for. He's definitely up, he's definitely going to uphill this strength five warrior. He's a hundred percent uphilling this strength five warrior. One million percent, if you diddle. 100% hey, that's, a gym guarantee. that's a gym guarantee there that they would want to see here. Oh, he's not! He's not done it! What the hell, Chunter? Wow. I am shocked. I'm genuinely shocked. Like, he must have seen it, right? He must have seen it. I can't believe Chunter didn't go for that. I literally can't believe Chunter didn't go for that. Like, it was it's sick. Balls. Maybe, maybe there was another play that you didn't see the play. Nah, this is the play, man. Because he's not doing fuck all exciting this time. That that was definitely the play. Push him to here, then this guy 3-2's out, runs around, 2-D him, and then, you know, if you pow, pretty decent chance, and then you get 1-D on the ball. And then you've got to go to, uh, to collect as well. I mean, the, like, this is the boring player. They dodge out and punch him, isn't it? I mean, this is the boring, obvious player, but I just expected Chun to do something a bit more in interesting and exciting. But he didn't. Glorious Jerry. Uphill from the wrestle, right? Because then you've got wrestle to get him down as well. You you up, uphill with a wrestle tackle, oh, and then you push him to here. Stand firm, doing the Lord's wow. job there. Wow! What an amazing turn for that strength four. Yeah, wow! Wow! Now it's big Jure. Okay, instant, big instant target. Instant, uh, 
on the, on this one. Yeah, 3D with a tackle, yeah, with a guard. But the problem is, by not blitzing this guy, he's got to uh, get an assist in. Oof, bit of a twat magnet, yeah, bit of a twat magnet with the uh, tentacles there, wasn't it? I really like that play, and I expected it from Chunter. Like, obviously, the dodge and hit is like the obvious play, like, you know, un, un exciting, if you like, play. And now, uh, with the tentacles there, he can put, you know, guard at the back and lock down the all the rats there. Yes, yeah, I guess that's what he has to do, yeah. Okay, no, he's, he's got, got that many players for the for the for a cage anymore. So he might have to he might actually literally have to make, move back to cage, punch here and then move the cage back and then and then pile in around here because he really wants to have people uh, and he really wants to protect his players from the claw mighty. It's so disgusting that, you know, that Chunter has this strength for claw mighty tackler that like you've got to protect from losing players against and he's still got good as like it's it's ridiculous. But I think the players punch this guy in cage here. I think he's going to punch players. that guy with a claw mighty warrior and then uh, move the cage to the left and put uh, maybe the guard the uh, beastman next to the over the claw bomber one two three four five yeah yeah the guard beastman in there is is definitely the play yes because he only gets a uh, one d with a claw mighty blow yeah, that, that's 100% the play. But the question is, what do you do about the ball, right? So, like, now you've only got three people to cage with. Or you cage, like, have a base cage. Or you drop back a little bit. Like, he might drop back a little bit of the ball. No, he's going for just Oh, a bit look! <laughs> exactly what I said. Yeah, he's, he's given Chunter the uphill. Uh, this is a 3D uphill, so this, this uphill is fine to give, isn't it? This is fine using the... And now he frees and uh, there is uh, that beastman there free. Yeah, this is a lot safer than last turn. I thought I thought last turn was a bit fucking risky, honestly. I really expected Chunter to go for it because... And one of the corners is uh, protected by the stand uh, AG5, so that's more or less all right. Yeah. And it still has a massive control over the... the rats. Now Chanter has a 1D on the guard the beastman. Well, he can 2D I and mean, he's got three players. Yeah, he's going to 2D. Oh, he's, he's, he could have also pilled with Rackle as well. Oh, no, he's going to blitz Maybe. him and then and then hit the other. Yeah, of course, yeah, blitz him and then and then claw might either stand for him. So I guess, I guess you know, the reason that Chunter didn't go for the funky hit on the ball was he was just going to, you know, he's obviously given up this half. And he's going to save his one reroll for the one turn. And he's just trying to do damage. But, you know, like, that's the more conservative normal route to take with Scaven. He doesn't like, need the reroll the... for the one turn because he has a leader in the the thrower in the oh. bench. In the bench, he has a leader. Okay, so he still could have committed that one reroll on the side. I mean, it was turn, it was turn four. You know, you're not going to use your last reroll in turn four. Yeah, maybe though. Like it's the only way he was going to successfully defend. I thought. I thought that was the like the last chance to get a ball sack. So I think he had thought Ooh, he's not going to that, get the ball sack. That uh, standing the tentacles. Huge. Huge. And that we can make a foul as well. Three plus for a foul. Plus three assist foul. Chunt is definitely going to go for this. Might put in the last reroll on the on the dodge. <laughs> on the dodge to foul. I mean, he has to dodge anyway. You can uh, leave that. Uh, and he has to move that works, but maybe he used to base one of the corners of the cage. He could do. I mean, that would be pretty chunterish. But then also, fouling's really good. I think he'll try and foul. There goes the foul. Yeah, I think I think the pause was thinking about whether to re-roll it, right? Because you've only got 15 seconds, so you have to think. 
for 20 seconds, three times, you know, in case in case you fail. Like, it's so stupid. I hate that. So, you now... Now this this cage looks a bit shit, doesn't it? But I guess he's still he's got four free well three free players, so he might have to retreat this turn. Whereas if he'd stayed back last turn, all of this up here would have, would have still left this cage pretty much free, right? And then he could have moved up here or something. So I think I think taking it a bit easier last turn. There was something we said for taking it a bit easier last turn, but he can still make a nice cage up here. The problem is he's he's leaving this tackler isolated. This brush for gauze over here is now been abandoned somewhat, hasn't he? Whereas my player would have kept him involved a lot more. Oh yeah, yeah, you've got to stand this line right. I mean, the line right is just... It's yeah, the line right is there to die, and That's I will so save it that role I wouldn't have that role if you try to dodge with a warrior last action of the turn. Or maybe blitz with him, right? That maybe blitz blitzed. with him, because it's a guard uh, stand firm piece. Well, he hasn't blitzed with him, so who is he blitzing with? Yeah, yeah. I would have, I would have maybe blitzed with him and moved him up, right? One, two, three, four. You could have blitzed, moved him up, and then you had a nice cage up here. That's... Yeah, block oh, him first. Him block him first to see if you get the power. Yeah, fish for the power here. And then if you get if you don't get the power, then you could blitz him, right? Uh, with the ball, three dice with block. Um, but then if you do power him, then that gives you that leaves you free to do this blitz. So now I don't even know who he blitzes. And now he, blitz he, blitz, wrestler, he blitz the wrestle rat. There is a chain to free the. Oh, yeah. Now he's just going to okay. put it to the ball, yeah, and then put a cage corner there. Yeah, yeah, this is this is reasonable. This is reasonable. They are yeah, Paravel. Only two KOs, and they've made a Kaz. I mean, yeah, it's not the, like the Wood Elves game of yesterday. That was an absolute bloodbath. Yeah. That's the thing, isn't it? Like, you know, Norse and uh, Skaven just don't die as much as you would want them to. <laughs> like, you know, oh, the maths, the maths decrees that they don't. It's just that, you know, you feel like you should you should cast them every time. S similar with Zons, right? Because they're so hard to bloody knock over, you kind of want them to die every time you knock them over. Yeah. You know, Have certain. you seen the Norse team that is absolutely wrecking uh, the ladder? Mm -mm. There is a Norse team with more than 2,000 TV and a legendary Berserker with 200 SPP. Wow. The Wolves, both of them have strength 5 dots, <laughs> block dots and all that. They have 676. It's absolutely mental. It's the biggest Norse team I've seen and he has destroyed uh, Gdainik, uh, Elliot. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, he has des destroyed most of the streamers' teams. Wow. Nolicius was playing with him in this morning, and we're like, yeah, this is going to be, you know, the chance, you know, I avenge you guys. And he was destroyed too. <laughs> wow. Oh, sat so the toad. It's been interesting. Yes, Dio also was destroyed. Chanter also was destroyed. Gedenik was destroyed. Wow. That's why I say that it's a storm, because uh... mm. yeah, and it's Norse and sniping it, streamers, yeah. With a record not very good, but good enough. I mean, it's like 70 games or 60 games or something like that. <laughs> it's like 36, 14, 14 or something like that. Mm. But yeah, get the, the, getting a Berserker to Legend, oh, come on. <laughs> That's not a new player uh, thing. <laughs> and if you CCL him, he doesn't have a... This was, this was the thing here, look at this. I hate, I kind of hated just standing up to get knocked down and fouled, but... It's happened again, and he's, he survives. Rambo! That's the guy, that's the guy, Rambo. And see, it doesn't appear uh, 47.9, blah, 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 with just a few games here and there with some teams, but not the Norse. The Norse are still not in the list. Mm. 
And there you go, Tom Norse. Hmm. I don't think it's Stoll. I think Stoll would have a better record, even if he was trolling. <laughs> <laughs> Any coach that you don't know that the snipes the streamers is a Stoll. That's the law. <laughs> See, that's why a store wants you to think. You don't understand the mind of the sniper. <laughs> this is going to be a huge block, this, isn't it, to free up this tackler? Maybe uh, Cyber should have actually GFI'd with him last turn, right? Like, even though it's unintuitive. If he GFI'd with him, then he would have been able to block to free him up, um, like on a push. But now I guess he can just free up the, the warrior, almost guaranteed. So a bit of a pickle. Bit of a pickle here for Cyber. It should be alright. It should be alright. <laughs> yes, Paravale, because people are dumb. Well not dumb. They're inexperienced, aren't they? And they haven't they haven't played a lot. I mean they could be dumb. They don't have to be dumb. They could just be bad at Blood Bowl. But also they could uh be inexperienced and Still. Oh my god, diced. Whew. It's the Kaz. Alright, good. That doesn't do much. That uh, warrior has been uh, useless all the half. And now, look, this is where new 2020 rules are great for Chaos, right? Because now, this is a terrifying turn and he's just got to stand this guy up and like, make safe moves and it's just fucking horrible for him, right? Whereas if it was 2020, he'd still got to reroll. Everything's still totally under control. Not terrible. That, that could be applied to nearly any team. Uh, <laughs> no, it's it's more like bash teams, right? Bash teams versus yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the, the ones that they don't have re rolls included in their skills, yeah. Hmm. Like, um, I've only heard people saying it's great for agility, but it is. It's good for bash sometimes. Like these kind of terms. I don't think. I don't think it's that good for agility because agility teams tends to have their own re rolls. You know, they, still, they tend to have a sure fit, tend to have a dodge, tend to have a sure hands in the case of something like that. So they have a lot of uh, included uh, rerolls in their skills. Mm. And those ones you can reroll. You can fail a dodge and then reroll the same dodge. Who but gets teams the that don't have their own rerolls, you know, they get more benefits. Mm. Yeah, it's 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 pretty good. Like, yeah, and they, they don't always have them, and it's pretty good that you can like reroll the hit on the ball and then other stuff. But I like, I just think people have. Oh wow, well, he's blocking his own path there. Uh, he's got to go one more, right? He has to go one more so that this guy can follow him through. Um, and this tackle there, so he can't he can't dodge there unless he's going to run around here. He's going to stay where he is. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I just think, like, I've only heard people say that it's going to be great for agility teams. And I, just think, I just think that's untrue. Yeah. I think it's going to be a... Uh... <laughs> hate that farm. You know, yeah. when it uh, rerolls the uh, orcs and the like can have the safety of rolling one in nines. Oh, there you go. And then they still have to be able to move the ball. Yeah. There's a lot more money though, like in leagues, Uruguay, like people, like teams earn a lot more money, so it'll be easy to afford uh, to buy extra rerolls after, after creation. Yeah, the rando death doesn't matter at all, does it? Imagine if he'd got, imagine if he'd rolled those dice on the foul and just, and just killed. That killed would be, yes, uh, that get it. But Cyber's lost his bribe and his apple. Still is capped at 12 players. Chunter is capped at 14 still, so these two cars don't mean anything to him. And, and the chance of the one time. But I think with the tentacles around, the stand farms is going to be... Uh, and the strength 5, I think Glorious. Chunter will need to think no, I won't give in how to do the one turn. I think it'll be an easy one turn, to be and honest. I will defend. I, will defend. Easy, I don't think he's got enough, because if you put strength 5... Can I see that? Strength 5 and 2 stand firm, it's still going to be hard. Um, thank you very much, Tony, for staying fantastic Tony's for 67 back. glorious months. 
Sixty seven. The other day I was wondering where you've been in the chat. I haven't seen you here for ages. I know you, I knew you were alive because uh, you reacted to the video post on the Discord. Yeah. Roll Tide. <laughs> he posted. He posted him watching the uh, Alabama game, didn't he? Oh, here we go. Here's the uphill. Classic chunter. And, no, classic uh, chunter would have been double pausing to death. True, but it, the the play was classic chunter, even if the dice weren't. And, I uh, mean, it was an okay play, I think. You know, the turn. Uh, oh yeah, like, of course you got to go for it. Yeah, you got to go for it. Amazing that it, it was left on, honestly, uh, by by Cyber. Not good to have left it on. Um, but he needs to put the guard in here, can't he? In two D. In fact, he can just two D blitz with a, a strength five. Wait, what? Blockless block. Hate that. I hate that because the cl the claw pummel can't even blitz this guy anyway. So now that was just really greedy. That was really greedy. You could have hit that guy with a claw mighty. He's gonna he's gonna three D this lad. This seems terrible. This this seems a, a poor choice. Hmm. Like you don't care if he has this guy. Okay, he does cast him. To be fair, to be to fair, he does cast him. That could have been the the rat, the important rat. You know that one with the icon, with the strength and the claw and the mighty blow. You know the one with icons. Yeah, it could have been. It could have been. Now, obviously, he wouldn't have got the pile on him. So, like, do you know what I mean? It's not, it's not that fair a comparison. But I uh, yeah, can get him up here, can't he? Uh, are you gonna six. block less three D in this economy? It's two D. It's a two D. It's, it's not even a three D. So I don't think he will. No, I think it's going to be just, uh, just so. a score, Saber Knight, just a score. It's only 181, though. <coughs> God, you should block here. It's plus EV to block. It's a 1 in 81 chance of you not scoring. You have to score because the chance of you powering him and casting him, it's too influential if you do it. So you have to, you have to make that block, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm sure that's the correct play there. It has to be like, although like people shy away from doing that, it has to be the correct play in this situation because, as it stands, you are going to lose a cyber knight. You know, you're yeah, fucking going true, to lose. True. So, so you know, you know that I'm always very uh, timid when it comes to that kind of thing. Like, mm. I don't want to be remember like that guy. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fair you enough. Know, if cyber knight lose, I saw right, lose to chanter. If you lose versus you do, you're all at one in eighty one. Mm -hmm. Everybody yeah. will remember that. Yeah, I think I think it's natural to like not to not make that block, but I think it is correct to do it. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's unbelievable. Well, ten men, ten men. But yeah, unbelievably, but those two, and now he might be down the club for the second half. That might actually matter the removal. All removals matter. What are the odds of Chunter's one true. turn? You are, uh, you are right there, uh, Nolisius. But uh, also to reach o OT, you need to be rich, be able to reach OT. And again, I wouldn't do it just for that, just for the Jesus Christ. I don't want to be the meme guy, you know, the one in Nitty One. Every single mm -hmm. time you enter the chat, people remind you that. <laughs> it is, I don't, I mean, it's impossible to say, it's not impossible to say, but it's the odds of the one turn, you've got to like make some assumptions right because obviously to do the actual odds of the one turn you would have to calculate the every possible square that the uh the ball could land right and then and then the chance of getting it from there to the ball so like if you just assume like you know a pickup on somebody in a handoff and but then also you don't know how he's you know how uh how cyber's gonna set up and stuff um so it's it's really not easy even even if it was just like it's one push, right? It's one push because the side Are you step sure is he's a... Feet, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Juggernaut is the push. one that's out, yep. Yeah. Juggernaut is, is the one that's out. But yeah, it just needs one push, yeah, so... As it's not easy to find uh, the push, you know, having the Chaos Warriors stand fair and the strength five. Is, uh, how many plays he's got? Ten. 
Could put nine players in here <laughs> and then blitz him. <laughs> that might be the best way. Or maybe like uh, four pl five players in because he's got the edge five, hasn't he? he? Could so he could go here, but then how do you get in there? So you could have you could have six players. And if you have six players, then you go to here, which sucks, doesn't it? You could maybe hit from here. So you could have you could fill in these six and do it that way and sidestep to there. Hmm. Is that what he's planning to do? That could be the way. That will be a very unconventional uh, one turn. You don't see many often people not going for one of the LOS uh, guys, but I think in this case, again, you know, how, how are you going to get the dice, you know, some trustful dice to be able to, oh yeah, I'm going to do this because... Oh, the yeah, Edge 5, the Edge 5 is the sidestepper, so that makes it a bit harder. I wanted to dodge in with the Edge 5 and then sidestep forward. I get, oh, no, so he's got sidestep as well. Mm, it's interesting. Blitz the non-LOS guy. Yeah, the, the, the Beastman we're talking about, I think Monkey's is referring yes, uh, The lonely Beastman there without the skills or anything. Probably PTK already made a video about this, but PTK is in another uh, stream. Uh, it's in Chanter's booth. <laughs> yeah, PTK will know what to do. Who knows? Who knows what the answer is? I think I like Edge 5 coming in, blitzing, sidestepping to here, and then this whoever's here gets the extra punch to go here and then like you three three two to score oh i could yeah percussion put could push him to there and then yeah three two yeah three two even better yeah good point try three two even better yeah, yeah, he could have gone here. Chain fans. Yeah, I think that I think that was the best way. This the strength guy getting sidestepped twice up to here and then three two through by the edge five dodging to here to hit. But Chunter hasn't gone for that. Got the ball though. I mean, he has got sprint and sure feet this way, so he only needs the one push. Maybe he's just going to leap for a three dice uphill. Wait, does, does that work? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so it's an uphill, just a 2D uphill for a push. Doesn't get it. Doesn't get it. And kills himself. Yeah, I think, I think, I think, uh, I think my way was better. <laughs> but who knows? Like, I don't know. I don't know, but I think it was. He, he could have powered as well, right? Like, so it wasn't. It was the reverse one in nine. Is all he had to not get. Oh! Wow! Huge. This is big. What was the chance of the uphill there? It was 44 to get it straight off. And 70 with a reroll. So, like, it's not bad, is it? It's not bad. And then, and then he's in range. And with sprint and sure feet. And obviously the dodges weren't great. But, um... It would take a lot of... It would take a lot of maths working out to find out which way was best. It seems worse to me. Yeah, the dodges were worse. It seems worse to me. But, I mean, I don't know. Like, I couldn't. I couldn't tell you. Andy's only got two minutes to work it out, right? So three, three. He's only got three minutes to work it out. So, <laughs> and yes, yeah, somehow it's eleven on eleven. And imagine if uh, if Cyber Knight hadn't used his bribe, he could have still had eleven and had a bribe as well. Um, but yeah, unbelievable. The really unlucky the chaos for Chunter. 
Um, I wonder if he'll score quickly to try and get them back, or just try and uh, stall it out to make it 1-1, one because -one, I mean, it's hard to get the ball off that string four, isn't it? So. I think the stall and uh, go for the overtime could be the option here. Mm. Could Daka, are they on 10? Yeah, they're on 10. Oh my god, they're on 10, yeah. Yep, they're on 10, so that that irrelevant, the irrelevant three dice on the lineman turns out to be relevant due to horrendous KO rolls. <laughs> you never know, eh? You never know. Any mm. any course will become a blessing, and any blessing can become a course. Be careful mm. what you wish for. Mm. Words of wisdom here, you know. <laughs> because today I saw the face of God when I was at the rock bottom of that fucking squad. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Not even our viewers are wondering when talking about today, you know, I squatted 220 kilos for one rep, personal best, thanks. I mean, if PC can talk about his Thanksgiving dinner for three hours, I can talk about my squat for one minute. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly can find me a very impressive, unbelievable. Congratulations. <laughs> yes, very happy with that. I didn't even thought I even thought about going uh, heavier, you know, for another try, but then I like uh, had second thought to say, <laughs> let's call it a win, and that's it. <laughs> I already won, no need to push it. Yeah. Especially because there is more stuff coming the rest of the week, so yeah. Yeah, KO rolls in Blood Bowl are horribly swingy. And like, so are Kaz, and it's like, you could, especially with a video game, right, you could think of loads of mechanics to like, make it slightly less swingy, couldn't you? But uh, it's... Yes, but then it wouldn't be a uh, Blood Bowl. Mm. Well, I mean, it would. You just make it slightly less, you know. There's chess and there's blood ball, and that's a that's a really long line, you know. And just because, uh, well, no, there's not that. There's, there's, you've got oh wow, you've got like snap and chess, and that's a really long line. And blood ball is like somewhere along that line, so you could just move it along that line a bit, and it'd still be blood ball. This is a huge blitz, yeah. Very good from Chunter. Completely protected his edge five here, so. While he hasn't protected against, like, you know, pressure from the Blitz, he doesn't have to. He's protected his best players from the Blitz completely, so very good from Chunter. Very good setup. Brass Jim. And now, Silver Knight, if this Blitz doesn't work very well, could end in the situation that the Blitz makes things, uh, make things worse. And putting the tentacles there. Interesting. Not what I would Maybe it's not the right uh, choice. No, I really liked. I really like blitzing the, uh, blitzing. Yes, yes, the, the, the with him and the then thrower. just going in. Well, maybe he was too far away. Yeah, maybe he'd been a GFI to get him in. I guess you could have blitzed this guy from the side he was on, but then he's a wrestler, and you don't really want to do that. But yeah, you'd really want... Uh, but then, and plus you just expose him to the claw might hit. Maybe, maybe this was correct. Yeah, maybe this is correct, actually. Like, you nearly... Oh, you already nearly got burned by... Uh, you already nearly got burned by uh, exposing him before, didn't he? So... I think this is the last game of the quarterfinals. It is. And in the semi-finals, there are uh, Skaven, no, uh, Good Elves. Yep. What are the other two teams that are uh, Dwarves? Um, yep, Dwarves, Dark Elves. Dark Elves versus Undead. And... Wait, no, no, Undead won that. It's, it's Dark Elves versus the winner of this. And the other one is, is Dwarves versus Wood Elves. I'll give you the link for the other uh, thing. There's the link. Yeah, I, th I think the reason he didn't use this more sexily was that he just didn't want to expose him, right, to getting claw mighty. Like, he's already been burned by that already this match, so... 
Makes sense. And he's got a lot of a lot of heat on, hasn't he? And the problem is, and he's got the tackle point on the back that can reach both sides. So Chunter can't just potato away. Chunter starts with a 1D. That's a pow. So maybe the plan is to blitz the claw pommer and you know and potato, maybe that was the play. How do you blitz the I mean I don't pommer? know but I'm I'm try I'm you know <laughs> I'm trying here. <laughs> don't know why he did it. <laughs> like I know Chunter isn't terrible, so there has to be an idea behind what he did, doesn't there, you know? Well, now he the can blitz the guard Beastman, get a chain and free the line wrap. Yeah, blitz the ball carry would be nice. And if he powers this guy, he can blitz the ball carry. But I mean, he could have done that without that 1D, so I don't understand the 1D. One one D or is nothing. he going for the ball carrier? Yeah, the ball carrier. If he powered, he could have hit the ball carrier. Yeah. Oh, he, can, he still can uh, hit the, the ball carrier. He just goes all the way. Yeah, I guess he could, yeah. GFI, isn't it? One Three, GFI. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, GFI, yeah. Yeah, it's probably the best chance you're going get, to get to nail him, so I guess you just got to go for it. I think Goro did win, yes, Lord. Yep. No, he doesn't go for it. I think he, I think he maybe should have done, you know. I think he maybe should have done. He wouldn't have got anything from those dice, but I think that was probably the best idea as unintuitive as it may have been because removing that ball carrier is so good isn't it and intuitive is a strength for uh, ig4 sure hands uh, dodge is i mean that should be the one with the target in the head yeah, yeah it's a great play to remove for sure with with uh, the price of one gfi i mean uh, fair price to pay mm. i wonder what that 1d was about though maybe, maybe he was gonna like you know, if he didn't use the reroll in it, he was going to uphill this guy and then try and blitz the claw pommer, something like that. Maybe that was the play to try and one deal, you know, either blitz through the claw pommer or blitz the claw pommer with his own strength four. Like, uh, I just, that was such a weird one day to open them. Maybe he just, maybe he just thought it was two. Like, do you know what I mean? Maybe just because he, he was yeah. next to the he was next to the guard, wasn't he? So he just didn't spot that guard. Oh, right. So yeah, yeah, okay. The the most obvious explanation is he just thought it was a two D. <laughs> yeah, all right. We don't need to think of some crazy chunter plan. Just a mistake is is the most likely. Uh, is the Occam's razor, isn't it? There, he just he just literally didn't see the guard and thought it was a two D. Wow. Well, these cars are starting to mount up, aren't they? Yes. And so I was thinking that this time uh, there is a lot of free hits on the rats. Mm. And you can get this guy. Over there. He's got a tackler. Oh, he's got the tackle pom to hit this guy. Oh, yeah, that's that's what you do. <laughs> so he's got to tackle it. Oh, he's got the yeah, just to commit the tackle pom. Yeah, yeah, this is the play. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah, that's fine now, isn't it? Because now he's Dude, now he's actually KO. ahead. Yeah, now he's actually ahead. That's that's great to set up for the KO. Might oh, even that's, power that's... up all this. This might be a power up off from Chunter. Shame he's only got 15 seconds for like a game deciding decision. And he, yep. uh, yes, does, that was yeah. the power up. But he can afford to lose the, the rat. I mean, he can, but things are looking very grim for the rats right now. Yeah. Really sucks. You don't want to put this one. What he wants to do is he wants to hit this guy so that this guy can come through and tag the uh, and tag the claw. So you probably want to punch this wrestler with this this guy wants to punch this wrestler you can push him into there yeah and then and then he would have had another hit on him he could have he, he could have chained him away right oh wow he's killed him oh dead he's going for the kills him he's, he's going, going for, for the, the kills. kills yeah 
If he if he hadn't cast him, he, this guy could have stood in here and then he could have chained him away off him. Then he could have punched him and then so this guy can tag tag the claw. You really want this guy to tag the claw, mighty. That really limits what Chunter can do. Or or just foul this guy, I guess. But I I like I like uh, tagging. Yeah, keeping that uh, attack. There are not many rats left in the pit, so. I mean, if you tag the, the Storm Vermin, it's 100% that the Chanter is going to dodge, but that's a 3 plus that he needs to get. Hmm. Or he might just punch you and kaz you, but at least at least he's like, you know, that's such a, he's got so few rats that taking one out of the game. I guess he could blitz you exactly. and then run, so. Yeah, no, no, you have to target. You have the advantage in uh, numbers. No, oh, well, that's, that's terrible, isn't it? Unless, unless this guy is going to GFI, that was terrible from Cyber. Like, maybe this guy's going to double GFI to tag. Oh, yeah, maybe this guy double GFI to tag the, the gutter. No, that was just terrible. Like, just ordering, right? You could have just moved him here, and then the, but this wouldn't have needed a GFI. That was uh, really bad. <laughs> <laughs> we have done the two GFIs. I've gone right now. I'll go absolutely balls to the wall. They have an advantage. Attack yeah. that right. They, they, they make a, you know, a Chanter roll lots of dice if he wants to achieve anything. Yeah, but you've, you've only got three rerolls, right? You might still be on overtime. I even liked him one back so that this guy couldn't dodge away on a three plus. So, like, I know, even though he's on tentacles, I still like one back to stop him dodging away on a three plus. And now, what's left? Or a uh, chanter do, do, dodge with a strength four, hit the tackler. <laughs> Great analysis from Try. <laughs> Should have made the GFIs to hide them ordering mistake. <laughs> exactly, you know, you, oh my god, maybe they are. <laughs> yes, exactly. When you make a wrong play, make the second one even more wrong, so say, no, no, it was the ordering. You know, I wanted to do the, the, the more complicated play the second. <laughs> But of course, that's just a very, a very uh, mean mispick, nitpick, uh, not intended as a, as a harsh criticism of, of Cyber Knight. Just you know, for the people watching at home, but that wasn't a slight ordering mistake, wasn't it? it? It was, it was, and everybody makes them, even the best players, even the best players in the world who aren't that good, obviously, because it's a shitty little children's game. But you know, I'm sure. I'm sure if uh, if Magnus Carlsen played Blood Bowl, he would, <laughs> and had devoted his life to Blood Bowl instead of chess. I'm sure he wouldn't make those ordering mistakes ever. But none of us are that good. <laughs> Hello, Inari. <laughs> Hello, Inari. You arrived just on time for seeing a Santer sweating. He needs to swashbuckle. He really He's does. He's been draw. so unlucky with these KO rolls, hasn't he? And and just these general casts as well. He's been pretty unlucky. Is he is he, is he going to punt? No, a sideline cage. I thought for some reason I thought it was the ball. Cut. Oh, sure feet! Oh, feet fails. Oh my god, diced. Chunt has been. It's getting to the point of a dicing now, isn't it, for Chunt? Oh wow, a great throw in. Oh no, just in range of this guy. I think it's. Two GFIs away from this guy. Hello? Yep, two GFIs away from him, so yeah. Brutal. Brutal throw. This is live, yep. I mean, he blunders in a really hard match against other grandmasters, doesn't he? I'm not sure he'd I'm not sure he'd make basic ordering mistakes if he had dedicated his life to Blood Bowl. <laughs> 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 because he gets lots of money playing chess and he obviously loves chess mm. you know when uh... <laughs> <laughs> dildo Morse coach that's exactly you can still got them in tabletop you know blue ball some uh, nice bits you know to tell you you know <laughs> <laughs> the old anal beats. Kutu Blitz, Kutu Blitz, and all that was called. Oh, it's, it, this is unfortunate, right? Because this guy's tagged on the tentacles because you'd really, really want to blitz him and get the tentacles into here. But obviously you have to, you have to blitz his claw mighty, don't you? Maybe not, maybe not. 
No new FT, that's what Jerenic does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he would just that, That's Nick, Nick's style of play. <laughs> He'd go full good in it. Yeah, he's, off, he's got it, he's got it. Come on, mate. Oh, no, he's going to hit the gutter. Wow. Okay, I guess, I mean, I guess he does have that guy still. And then now there's a tackle, tackle zone, blocking the pass. So this is pretty cool, actually. I guess he'll pile the still on. Forget about the tackle, tackle zone. Oh, will he not? Is he actually going to... Oh, wow, he's actually playing properly. Outrageous. Outrageous stuff. <laughs> Outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> and this this has actually got tentacles on three players, hasn't he? So he's actually pretty good, not even blocking, honestly. Wow, outrageous stuff from from the cyber here, playing properly. Oh, it does the follow up though to get tentacles off two players? I'm not sure I like the follow. With the power, no, I would have been greedy and not followed, honestly. I would have uh, been that, so. That follow is a mistake. Yeah, I think, I think. so. Yeah, because he... Uh, well, yes. I must say uh, tentacles in one or tentacles in two. Yeah. And just also, like, you know, you might get the armor break, right? Like, not a removal, but you might get a stun. And if you get a stun, then staying... Then keeping... Like, you know, Chunt is already reduced to, like... Uh, Chunt is already reduced to desperation tactics next turn. So anything you can yes. do to and make... And he was there, oh, I don't like... Uh, I would yeah, prefer the foul in... Uh, I like this foul, but now you've just left a completely free player, haven't you? Yes. Um, oh, there's the Kaz. Yep, this is it. Dyson. Comedy Mega now. Comedy Giga Mega Dyson. now. Giga Dyson, not Mega Dyson. Giga Dyson. <laughs> Part of the, of the Terra Dyson. Yep. I will do the foul on the thrower. Yep. Don't move, don't move the, the tentacles. Yeah, that was. I mean, that was a pretty good player to get to get cast by uh, Shunter. But yes, but there wasn't that many um, things that a player could have done, you know. No, you know, no. I, I mean, have... I, I just think I, 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 like Cyber did the right thing to win the game, right? But I, th I preferred, I preferred just protecting my players at this stage because I think it's done already. Like you know, I think it'd been done without playing this well. So I think I would have been a bit greedy than Cyber here, but Cyber definitely the right thing for. Well, apart from this, apart from that follow, maybe. But I think so. Now, like at least now he's got this guy free, right? By following, he's got this guy free next turn with the armor break, so he can put him somewhere. You so, like, can, it's... you can, Corpats. You can say it's over. Don't worry. Yeah, Elliot is not here. Yeah. Also, I mean, even if he was, he has no power here. <laughs> <laughs> he has no power here, and uh, <laughs> there is another foul coming now. In probably the now we get the claw palm, and he gets to go five here, right? So he gets tentacles on the on the fast cutter. Gets the bow. Gets the wreck. Gets the cast. This is absolutely a bloodbath. Wow. I mean, this was a dicing. I I do stand by that Chunter was the favourite, but you know, if you take seven cas <laughs> and and basically nine cas, right? Because these two guys never came back, so he's kind of taken nine cas this game, Chunter, which is definitely, you know, as much as Chunter does the you know balls to the walls um, strategy a lot of the times, he hasn't really this game. This has just been just brutal hitting from from Cyber. Oh my God, just dice balls. Unbelievable dice rolls. Outrageous. I mean, that was an armor 6 uh, gutter. But yeah, this is, this is, this is painful to watch. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Gotta feel a bit sad for Chunter because he was, he was pretty, he was pretty, uh, he was pretty optimistic, you know, <laughs> with uh, this matchup and then obviously the Dark yes, Elves the, aren't the, anything the special. The commentators, every single time we say someone is the favorite or someone is good to. <laughs> When Chalice usually dies uh, in the first round. <laughs> True. But Cyber Knight winning condition was doing more or less this. 
Yes, yeah, he had to get lucky. And, like, you know, he did have a team that could get lucky. You know, like, he's got a claw pommer. He's got a, some mighty blow against rats. Like, it was always possible, but there's another there's another dodge fail. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, J5, I should go back to the stream start and ban myself. Yep. But that's the thing, like, that's what I said, you know, like, he's not his favourite as I, as, as PC was against me, and PC was only 70%, I think PC was only about 70% against me, and that's like Dwarves versus Zons, right? So, like, you know, I made it quite clear, even though Chun was the favourite, I didn't think he was 70% to win. So, you know, I can live, I can live with this. Silver Knight was, he rolled all the dice. He rolled all the dice. <laughs> he rolled all the dice. That's, you know... Uh... It's PC's new best thing, isn't it? He rolled all the dice. <laughs> Could have made this a 3D, couldn't he? I don't know how much he's giving up to make it a 3D, but probably would have done. I probably would have made it a 3D because it's just like he's so, in such a dominating position. Like it's pretty easy to protect the ball, isn't it? Even if you do, even if you do do that, and you can think about skilling people up now, can't you, as Cyber Knight? Because he's one nil up. See, this is this was why in his last game I wanted to score and make sure of the result because now you can look at skilling somebody up on purpose. Uh, but you've got nobody left. The Garda has been KO'd. Again, the guy who we would have scored. Again, has been again the guy that. I guess just a rookie put him in MVP range. Rookie goat. Also, he doesn't actually need to score either, does he? Because he's uh, one nil ahead. Oh, nobody should feel sorry for Chunter at the end of the ultimately because he's, he's no, 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 no. I mean, uh, one thing is something painful to watch, but don't worry, I can endure the pain. <laughs> he's he's done it many times to many people. Yeah, yeah. The banger gets banged. That's the rule of life, you know. <laughs> uh, and that's it. Is the uh, Chunter has nothing, you know, to blame himself for. It's just Sabanet came with a high roller uh, dice on the pocket. Yeah. And that's it, it's not like Chanda did uh, some terrible mistake or forgot to score or something like that. <laughs> no. Yeah, that when your team disappears. Yeah, what can you do? I do think that maybe he should have, I do think maybe he should, he should have gone for the player that I, I liked, um, that was quite a chunk to play. But, like, obviously, it wasn't a mistake to not go for that choice. And, you know, that, that choice would have been more risky than what he went for. So, like, it's not. Again, it's 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 a hundred percent not. But I kind of kind of surprised that Chunter didn't go for it. You know, like the fact that I was considering it as as not a Skaven coach, and I was considering kind of a risky play. I was kind of surprised that Chunter didn't go for it. But I mean, there was certainly no mistakes. No. Jesus Christ! Even like the players have a lot of SPP, hundred thirty, uh, <laughs> hundred twenty. This man has invested time on this team. Yeah, yeah, it's huge. Like about seventy games. There's nobody really close, like it's just just to be this rookie would, would be the one who would uh stunt and really gain anything. And yes, in Arian, yeah, I mean I don't know if you can hear right now. But Twitch has indeed made a lot of changes. They've really really encouraged people to run ads. Yeah, that that's it, both of yeah, as I say, both of them. Silver Knight and Chander knew perfectly that the the best Chance uh, seven and half was the high rolling, was the dicing, getting a lot of cards and everything going his way, more or less, playing his best, oh, not making any big mistake. And then a one in the death. To death. I mean, come on. <laughs> you know, bitch slap to death. Oh god! To be honest, I always do love it when when Skaven actually die, because <laughs> you know every time you face them, they tend to not die. But now he's overflowing nine cars and two kills that stayed out. So it's it's almost like he's made eleven cars versus this fifteen man team. That's crazy, isn't it? That is absolutely crazy. And I think now uh, Chanter just passed on or something like that. Mm. It's still not a legal conceit. Yeah, yeah, there's two. There's two. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He could uh, legally concede, yes. He could. <laughs> Jeff, I have you absolute twat. <laughs> 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 yeah, obviously you got to foul the cutter here, then he's got nothing left. Another Kaz. <laughs> Ten Kaz. <laughs> yeah, it does feel good to see Skirvin panned out, to be honest. Um, I, I would score with, it with, with one of the rookie goats, right? Put him in MVP range. And they're actually thinking if he should uh, roll this, he does. <laughs> of course, he has nothing. Uh... Got nothing better to do. He should dodge into all the tackle zones now. <laughs> hey! <laughs> this is. Well, that's it. That's a pitch clear. Yeah. It's a pitch clear of 15. 15 rats team. 15 yeah. players. Pitch clear. <laughs> 11 cars. <laughs> I think this is the biggest one we have seen in Charlie's. I think so, yeah. Play this out. Yeah, 11 cars. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, that's what you get when you get the uh, PC and PTK in your booth, you know? <laughs> Some would say it's justice. <laughs> no, no, you know, so much wisdom and things like that. <laughs> 31 armor breaks. <laughs> every player, Jesus. every player got armor break twice. <laughs> <laughs> a poor, a poor guy got armor break three times. With how many, how many blocks did the... Uh, 37 blocks. 37 blocks. In 37 blocks, I mean, the, the fouls were there, yeah, but... loads of fouls. Jesus. And, uh... Um, if you have 31... 31 AV breaks. So, like, it, it's... It's, uh... So it didn't even double on the... Uh, didn't even double on the POM, right? Often piling on gives you more AV breaks. But um, it's not even doubled on that, so like he must have re-rolled armor rather than injury. No, he did re-roll injury. Oh, that's weird. Hmm. I, I don't know. Anyway, point is, um, and there was a dodge fail, wasn't there? There was a dodge fail cast at the end. But there yes, you go. Yes, there were a few. Yes, there were a few dodge, uh, dodges that ended in cast and chaos and all that. Yes, yes, and it's uh, still. <laughs> My God. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable game. And uh, yeah, congratulations, Cyber Knight. I mean, what can you what can you say? Like, just unbelievable. Well, kindness. if you want to, you know, if you want to know how to eradicate the team, just ask Cyber Knight. You know, he knows uh, how to destroy someone. Mm. And now, now he gets his two best players. Well, not two best, but like one of his best players back, and a really, you know, a really important warrior back for the semi final. So yeah, great, great result for him. Didn't take any which damage. Which he's gonna all. play? Is gonna which, which team is he gonna play with? Is the elves? The dark elves, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't fancy the Dark Elves chances. <laughs> they are the Thomas T Dark Elves. Uh, not Thomas T, no. They're, oh, they're, 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 they're. It's Tempest Soul. Tempest Soul. Oh but my god. 1700 TV. So yeah, he's yes, going to yes, yes. have a wizard and and some things, but um, I don't fancy. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe, you know, Savanite run out of dice. And the Dark Elves have a good chance, but... Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's a lot better. His next things will be a lot more comfortable because he's got 14, and obviously Tempest Soul hasn't got the removal power that shouldn't have had, so yeah, he, this was probably going to be his hardest game of the tournament. Uh, maybe the final. Um, but yeah, anyway, congratulations to the Cyber Knight. Commiserations to Chunter. Thank you very much, Fimey. It's been absolutely glorious having you in the booth for this murder fest. It's been a pleasure to be here, and I hope our viewers of Equatorial Guinea enjoy this absolute bloodbath that the hope doesn't bring them memories from their government. <laughs> oh my god, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.